unpredictable circumstances from the last episode, but it's time to get moving. Are you ready? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the next episode of the Ranked Riches series. Ladies and gentlemen, we did actually complete that task from the last episode, so we can finally go talk to Prapor and turn to the BP Depot. Which gives us two new tasks, the Bad Rap Evidence, and we also give Monk Part 1, which means we gotta go to Reserve soon. We gotta complete up that task, and uh, it should be pretty good. The Secure Item. So we have the Portable uh, Key, which is good. So we can actually do this, too, which is nice. Um... Where did I put that key? Where did I put that key? It's somewhere in here. In one of these lovely places. Just gotta find it. So, this actually is okay because we need to go back to customs anyway. We need to get some more scab kills anyway for the task that we're working on for therapist. So, some good things involved with that one. What about bunkhouse key? So, it's that one there. So, we'll put that on us. And we'll be good. I think that's all we really need. However, I did find out that we did actually get a run through, which is unfortunate. But like I said, things could be worse. Um, we, we had a very short amount of time to work with, but we made it happen. Uh, we also have a ton of insurance that we need to collect. A ton of it. Uh, I guess I didn't have the Mosin insured, which is confusing to me. I swear that we insured the Mosin before we actually moved on. Because we got the armor back. Oh no, it wasn't the most new. Ah, they took the A, uh, the M, or what was it? M the MDR. That was the MDR that we were using. Surprised we didn't actually get it back. If I got everything else, why the heck did I not get that one back? That's confusing. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about the confusion because we're just going to keep moving. But we'll grab the stuff later on. Or we'll use it periodically if things happen. Which you know what I mean. <laughs> but we're not going to say it out loud just for the sake of just living. Now, did I hit 15? I didn't. How far away are we from level 15? We're 5,200 XP away. So, if I can kill enough scavs in this, this upcoming raid on customs and also complete a couple tasks. How many kills are we away from finishing this actually? Oh, we got a while. Okay. We're nowhere close. We need 11 kills. 11 kills to finish up and then we will be good with that one as well. I also need to keep an eye out while we're on the map and see if I can find anything that will help lower my, my hydration or at least just don't even worry about doing it. Which gives me an idea of taking the water bottle with me. So if I do end up dehydrating all the way down, I'll have some to take care of it afterwards. Now the question is, can I buy anything that will lower the dehydration enough? And I think the answer to that one's actually going to be no. I'd have to have like mayo or something that would really help. Do I have a mayo on me actually? Yeah, I thought we grabbed one. Whether or not I kept it, actually, that's that's the actual question. I don't think I did. Okay, no big deal. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the propodol just in case. If it gets to that point where we're dehydrated enough. And then I'm also going to grab some regular painkillers in case I need those as well. Uh, we'll go six on that one. All right, this will be fine. Yeah, because if, if it ends up where that we can actually do the dehydration part, then I'll have the propanol to keep us alive, obviously, from through our, our heels, and then we'll have the water for the end of it. So I think that's going to be good. That's going to be the plan for now. We're going to head to customs, get the bunkhouse item, get some kills, and move on from there. So ladies and gentlemen, let's head over and complete some more tasks. Are you ready? A couple things. I did switch up the armor a little bit so that way we uh, we weren't using crazy good armor for the time being. And two, it's raining right now, so it's going to be very, very loud. But let's do this. Let's get into customs. All right, we're in. Giving tree. Card, card, card. Oh. Not a card, but something really good. Okay. That's actually really, really good. That's the first time I've ever gotten something good from the Giving Tree. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy. Hollows, armor, goggles. All right, we need to go and get to the portable bunkhouse. We need to get the item in there, and then we need to get a, a bunch of scav kills. 
So that being said, I think skirting around a little bit here, just, you know, lurking around, getting some kills and grabbing loot is probably our best bet in not being like the, too, too much of the main areas. I, I, as I say, as I'm going towards the, um, the fortress, but I am going to check the tech loot and then I'm going to keep moving around the corner. That's my plan for right now. I apparently didn't crouch down like I want to, but it's fine. Need a shush. Cords, cables, thermite. I'll take it all. It's all good stuff that I need early on. Also, I got killed from up here last episode. There was a guy... As, whenever I die, I like to go back and figure where the heck I die from. There was a little shadow right here and a little flash at the end that killed me. Don't need another shush. Although they do suck kind of well, but eh, I'm not going to take it for now. I think I need like 11 or 12 kills or something like that. So we'll focus on getting those kills and yeah, getting the heck out afterwards. We're right next to the objective, but let's see if I get getting some more items before we go for it. And then we'll focus on getting the, the task item and then just kind of, like I said, moving around the map. Come on, tech loot, be good to us. Cool set, I need that. Help me in Xenon. Was it the Xenon I need, actually? I'm questioning myself now, so I'm gonna take this just in case because I don't remember which one it was actually Spot a baller there, but that's okay All right, let's get down from here Someone's over at the fortress that's fine I had no idea where he went. I heard him and then he just kind of disappeared. I thought he went back towards the uh, the portable cabin. Ah, oh, that's annoying. 762 rounds. Yeah, I was not going to stop that. Oh, well, we'll get re-geared. Hey, we got a tool. Uh, see, a, a key tool of it. So I guess that's actually a positive. So, well, uh, oh, gosh, look at all the bleeds that armor or the ammo does. Just the PS runs alone. Oh, well, like I said, let's get healed back up, gear back up, and let's get back out there again. It's very rainy. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's start heading back around. I'm going to say positive. I'm going to say positive, even though we died there, and I thought the other guy, I thought the guy went the other direction. We still got the key tool. The giving tree was, well, it was giving, I guess, which is nice. I'll take that. Hello. Uh, however, if the if the weather gods want to give me anything, I'll take no rain. I would appreciate that. Can't hear a dang thing, except for my own voice and well, rain. <laughs> That's about it. Kind of want to go back and see if I can. I was gonna put that in the pouch, but it is. I can't fit it in there. I also want to go back to the giving tree and see if we can get anything good from it again. Where'd he go?
Oh great, now I lost the scab too. Ow. Can't see him there. I highly doubt it's going to come my direction. Ooh, PM pistol. I already had a 206 key, but that's fine. Alright, let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving, focus on the task, getting the kills that we need. I thought I hit the guy in the head, though, originally when I shot him, but I, mean, I probably was off just by a, a slight amount. But, um, he's not really going, well, he's kind of going the direction I'm going, but I'm not too, too worried about him. I'd rather focus on the scab kills right now, because that's the main objective, and then, of course, the horrible, uh, horrible house key is the one I gotta use next. I can think and I can hear. Oh, yay. See, this is why, I mean, I know you guys ask me all the time why the heck I don't wear headphones. Or hit, wear the contacts and stuff. It's because of the rain, man. I can't even hear anything. Can't hear myself think half the time. New driver. A battery. Sail the on the ground. I'm gonna grab that sail the Try and find. Oh, God. That's definitely a player. Dr. D armor, huh? Oh, he was around. I thought he was behind me at the train. Like, farther up. Oh, I think he's using the big gun, too. <laughs> yeah, there was no surviving that. God, I'm so sick of dying to these random things like that. I thought he was way on the other side and would be able to get to me. He must have jumped over and got me. Ah, I think a scab run's gonna be in place for us for right now. Alright, well my plan was to actually go into the scab, but 
we are gonna swap it up and we're gonna try to finish up these tasks uh, dying is such a fun thing in Tarkov <laughs> anywho let's get moving let's try to get some loot and not die this time so yeah, because I, I originally was thinking it was a player, or not not a player. I thought it was a scab that was uh, up on like a tower or something shooting down on me. So I didn't really think much of it. And then getting shot in the back. Well, that kind of solidified that that was indeed a player. <laughs> oh well. Let's keep moving. I do think we're gonna have, end up having to run a couple scab runs though, because we are getting very low on stuff. But not a big deal. We can make it happen. Uh, brought the MP5. Just lightweight stuff, nothing too crazy. Just something to kind of get us going. <sighs> Scab. At least I think it's a scav. I think it's a scav sniper. It is. Gotta get the stamina up before I can do anything. Oh, that's a bad idea, actually. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! It's scab, please. You're wreaking chaos. I mean, I got a player with an MP7 behind me. Only hope I really have is hope that the, the guy thought it was a scab or something. Right now we're hurting a little bit. Just gonna get fully healed here so we don't have to worry about it. I believe that means we need four, <clears throat> neither four or three kills. We're getting close. Uh, MP7 man found me. No, it was Vector. <sighs> I guess we're going over to... Yeah, we're going over to our, our scab for now. I'm stubborn to say the least, and I want this completed, so... We're gonna go complete it. Uh, we gotta head this direction, though. We gotta head this direction. I'm gonna get that portable, uh, portable item, and then we're gonna get the heck out of there. And just keep moving. I was like, I want to get this done as soon as possible. Let me get focused on other things. 
Plus, it's kind of like I was looking at the list of things that we could do. Pretty much everything was all blacked out. I couldn't really do very much right now, um, as far as what we, for what we have available to us. And when I say available to us, I mean it'd be nice to have the high, uh, not the high, but it'd be nice to have everything available for us to use, like as far as like the flea market. I'll say it out loud: the flea market actually kind of useful right now. Even though I could do the hardcore series and be completely fine without using the hideout ever. Or not hideout, but the... I keep saying hideout. Uh, without using the... What's this? A parakeet. Alright. Without using the flea market ever. But for this series... Oh, I'll use it. Also, this gun is ridiculous. Please don't. Don't have very good control of the gun just yet, but I'm learning. But it's good. Also, I need the backup gun you have. Oh, I need that armor too. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, I'm actually gonna drop this, I'm gonna take this. Okay, scavs, calm down! Do you not lay down bushes anymore? Someone's close, so I need to get this thing loaded. I didn't bring enough medical. Also, also realizing I don't have any more full mags. So the other mags were completely empty. Oh, I don't need anything really from that. Okay, let's keep moving. This will definitely be, a, like I said, a, a gun that I'll be using because it's actually a lot of fun. I got used to the recoil and whatnot, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. <sighs> okay, this thing is almost empty. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I know the feeling. I just need to see if you've got anything good for me. Come on, come on. No, no, 
Holy desync, Batman. I'm telling you, dude. I mean, that went better than what I was expecting. I mean, we're going to hit level 15 from that, but holy desync, Batman. That dude. That dude was around, was already shooting his gun before I even saw him and it was hitting me. Tarkov, we gotta have a talk, man. This is this is becoming kind of an issue. But we completed one part, so that's kind of nice. And I think maybe the most important detail is like the the why, why, the why. Um... Interesting spawn, but we'll we'll take it. Uh, I was gonna try to get a whole do setup thing, show you the yada yada yada, but we're just gonna kind of show you what we got because we're not making a lot of progress right now, and I want to try to keep moving forward. Um, King Reserve, because there's two things I'm gonna do. One, I'm gonna work on the bunker part one, uh, mainly because I just don't want to go back to customs right now. <laughs> customs is not liking me right now, so we're going to get bunker part one down, and then we're also gonna go and hit up the food stashes here. Like the, uh, the crates and we're gonna get dehydrated and we're gonna work on that first and that's really the plan that's that's about as far as i got in that planning and that's what i'm gonna go with now after we complete that we're heading out we're gonna be using the manhole to get out i'm not really here for the loot right now because i'm gonna focus on scabs to be able to get the loot for now and then that's really about it. I had that, I was trying to think what else we could do, but I was like, it's not like a pretty decent plan for the time being. Take all this, that there, that there. Not worry about the horse for it now. There's nothing there. Okay. I'm gonna triple check things. I feel like I saw something there. No, it's just the handle. Just the handle for the little panel that fell off. All right. I tell you, I love I love early Tarkov, but I also hate early, early Tarkov because, uh, <laughs> depending on the situations, I can get my butt kicked. And uh, it can sometimes just be a pain about trying to level up. But hey, that's what the struggles come with this account, and we just move forward. There's a lot of explosions going on right now above my head, and I question what's going on. All right. I'm going to head up. See anything there? Let's get this first one right here. Oh wait, is this not it? Oh no no no! It's two part. This is two part. I forget. I'm thinking of part two. Brain, my brain automatically was like, "Hey, let's just go straight for the other stuff." I'm like, uh, "Maybe not yet." So I'm going to flip the power on. Okay, we got the office. Don't have a lot of room, like I said, for looting. So we're focusing on the stuff that I can control, basically. And that is getting that part done. And then we're going to head over here and head over to the food. And get ourselves dehydrated, kind of chill out for like five minutes while we talk, and then we'll head we'll head out of here and uh, call it good. Well, at least for this raid, I'm not gonna call it good for the episode. We're not we're not we're nowhere even close for the end of the episode. There were a bunch of explosions. I'm kind of curious where those explosions were coming from. Give me something to dehydrate myself. Hey, that's perfect, actually. It's so thick. It's so thick. Now we're going to pop this. Oh, hold on. I think I need to get away till I'm dehydrated. I'm not quite there yet. No one ever comes in this room, right? Because there's literally nothing for us. 
We're just going to kind of chill for a moment. Wait for that thing to actually take an effect. Because we don't have a lot of room to work with. If I can make some Tashanka, though, that'd be kind of nice. How long does it take for the statue effect? There we go. And then I should start taking damage. So I pop this. Cool. And if I uh, had any scabs in front of me or players to shoot with tremors, that would, this would be the perfect opportunity, but we're definitely not going to be able to do that. <laughs> no, that's fine with me. Uh, I did actually read the poll uh, question, or I read the, the, the comments you guys left on the poll when I asked about Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, and I, I definitely understand a lot of people's perspective. Some people that want to play the game themselves, so they definitely don't want to watch because they don't want any spoilers. And of course, those that only watch my channel for Tarkov, because obviously my channel is mostly a Tarkov channel. However, however, I am planning on playing the game anyway. And I know there are some of you that actually, actually there are quite a bit of you. There's like 70% of you actually that, that voted on it want to see it. So the way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it to you guys is that there's going to be Hogwarts episodes coming out when the game actually does release. However, that doesn't mean it's going to interrupt Tarkov. Tarkov's still going to be coming out, no problem. However, there will be times you're going to see some Hogwarts Legacy episodes coming out just for the fun of it. So, just in case you're curious, that's that's what's going to be happening. Um, I kind of wanted to move forward, but I have a feeling, for some reason, I feel like I'm going to get shot, but I do it very slowly, very slowly. I got to find some water, actually. Now I think about that, uh, this is great and all that I'm dehydrated. However, I do need to find some water at the end of this road. So let's see if we can find some real quick. Aha! I mean, I would say that's enough, but I don't really need to worry about anything else. Just the one drink. Uh, yeah, that's good. Just enough to get me basically uh, to the point where I'm not worried about my health going down. But, um, so yeah, that's the plan. I am definitely going to be playing. Uh, I think I've got access to the deluxe version, which is actually cheaper now. It's super cheap. Compared to what normal deluxe versions are, it's actually a really good price on it. And that being said, with it being cheaper than what it normally is, what it normally would be, uh, we're going to be probably playing it a couple days early. I think it's like 72 hours before we, anyone else pretty much gets to play it that got the standard. So we'll have a little bit of gameplay before that. All right, come on. Let's get some stuff. Get some stuff. I want to try to get to level 20 by the end of probably not the end of this week. That's I I'm trying to like push myself farther, but I don't think we're going to hit level 20 by the end of this week because it's currently Saturday for for this video. And by the time you guys are seeing this, I'm pretty much at work and getting ready for inventory. So I'm going to be at work a little later today, almost to 11 ish. I think I think I'm almost scheduled to, scheduled to 11 ish. So you will have an episode tomorrow. Because I did promise you guys that, and it definitely will be coming out. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit it by Monday. If not, not a huge deal. It's, it's just kind of a goal I wanted to try to make it hap make happen. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not going to be the end of the world if it doesn't actually happen. Uh, the next week, if we can get pushing with the task, we could probably get to like 25 if I push hard enough for the week. Uh, we're getting past some of these early, ta early uh, game tasks that are kind of a nuisance. And obviously you're getting us killed. And well, hopefully we don't have to worry about rain at the same time too. But we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Alright, we so need to extract for that one. We'll get a gun too and some ammo. I'm listening out, so don't worry. I'm listening for that. I haven't gotten there yet. It's weird. Isn't this weird to you? That it says excluding uh, factory. Like why would it why would factory matter? I can understand some of the maps, but factories, well, that's just a weird thing to put on the the exclusion list for stuff. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do dehydration stuff, I mean, it's kind of weird. I can understand like some of the, like the like the dragon off not dragon off the S S V D S tasks that you have to do to get like was the the fifteen kills? I think I forget how many kills exactly it is, but the amount of kills you need for when you, when you're doing the Punisher task line, but. 
I understand why they don't do factory because you can complete that very, very fast. But it's very strange to me the dehydration part. Let's see if we can fill up the, the three slots. Huh. Sells for it sells for a decent amount of money. We're I'm kind of okay with that. I didn't have enough money to insure, so I didn't worry about doing that. We can go check the cabinets real quick. And like I said, these run this run wasn't really like meant for money. Because I knew that we weren't gonna be making any money while doing it anyway. It's just pretty much about completing the tasks as much as we possibly could. And I figured those are probably the best place to do it, so. But if I can get some keys out of these filing cabinets too, this will be actually good. Because we do need, need to get some keys. Let's get, just clear the building real quick. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, I think someone's already gone through all this with the battery on the ground. I really wish they would revert back to the old way like it used to be. Oh, oh, give me that. I need that item. Yeah, like, I wish it would, re it would revert back to like when someone actually went through it, the cabinets were already open. Kind of miss those days. All right, we're not gonna get lucky there. Gosh. I would do it, but I'd rather do a map on like like interchange to be able to get an airdrop like that. I have feelings that it may not work out in our favor. Am I gonna get run through for this? No, no, we don't. That's good. Uh, we definitely got a run through from last episode, by the way, from the one in customs, but that was kind of expected for what was happening and whatnot. All right, there we go. We got the the two tasks done. I did accidentally turn in the one for prepper, though, but with the or not prepper, but for therapist. So, um, hey, there's a missing task there. We're over level 15. I may have forgot to put that on camera. Anywho, uh, let's turn in the dehydration one. Oh, look at that. I have to eliminate scavs while under a pain effect. That would have been useful last up, uh, last raid, but hey, that's okay. <laughs> uh, what else do we need to do? What are these tasks of eliminate? Factory, 85 scavs. I got six days to do that. I might as well accept it because, well, let's just be honest. I'm probably going to shoot a lot of scavs anyway. Uh, only business. Level two with you, which means I can get you, what, to 17, I think it is? Oh, USB adapter. Okay. 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 Let's just get all this stuff off. Actually, all, all three of these are going to be immediately sold. So I keep those though. There are some things that we still actually need. We do need to still like hold on to. Actually, that was not a good trade off. How much is the helmet normally? 22, so I made about 10,000. I made about 10,000 on that, dropping on my helmet. So I gotta sell, I gotta get, I gotta sell that one, buy the other one back, so. Eh. It was an okay, it was an okay drop there. Get the, actually, no, 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 what am I doing? Peacekeeper. I sell this to you. I gotta start working on the money with you. I could technically get you leveled up, but I just don't have the money right now. Take that. Jaeger, you're going to give me a bunch of water, which honestly, I got to drink because I'm a little low on water right now. All right, got all that up there. Anything else that I need? I don't think so. 
now we have 114 key the 114 key i was looking at it is 300 000, i was at 200 000, it's 300 000 right now that's insane an amount of money now granted i don't probably need the key because if i go to customs and i wait long enough most likely the 114 is going to be open because it's a safe room but still holy cow it's crazy level 17 okay i was right on that one at least i had that going for me uh i wasn't gonna go do a scab run however i mean we might as well torture myself a little bit longer unload that Get the ps rounds off for now i might as well torture myself a little bit longer and we head over and see what we can do on customs again because apparently I like torturing myself enough to go back to this map over and over and over. But we need to complete the, the task anyway. So let's grab... Uh, where did I just put them? I just had the ammo. There's PS ammo. PS ammo for extra. Uh, I'm not really happy with the items that I've got to work with. But hey, you got to work with what you got. So let's buy that helmet back. Got all that. Got that, that, that. All right, good enough for me. We're going to head over to customs, see if we can go get the documents. We're going to kind of hang out for a little while and then go to the two-story dorm and see if the 114 room is open. If it is, we'll grab the package and we'll get out with it. So let's head over to customs again and see what we can do this time. I feel like we used to have a really good path for this. I wonder what happened with that. <laughs> Anywho, let's head out. Let's go grab the first part. I, I think we're probably going to be first there. I think it's going to be a decent path now I think about that, actually. Because we go grab the item, immediately go to the left, go over by like the bus station, do some of the searching of, like, I don't know, stashes or something, just try to get some loot. Scav snipers up, of course. And then head towards the exit, I guess, at that point. And then just keep collecting loot along the way. Try not to leave with a empty, a, a, an empty slot. It's basically what I'm trying to do. Normally, if I got this type of spawn, I would be immediately going over to the dorms, but we don't exactly have the key that we need now, do we? Alright, just listen out. Players, scavs, all the above. me this give me that no thank you I don't want to go towards that spot at all granted if I had a sniper rifle right now I could easily dome whoever's on that on that uh, that gun right now but <laughs> don't exactly have that option at the moment All right, objective one, somewhat complete. Objective two, loot. Objective three, maybe we get lucky and the door's open for us and we don't have to worry about not having a chance for it. Or I said not having a chance. That sounds completely opposite of what I want to say. Maybe we'll have a chance of actually getting what we're looking for. See, that's what I was originally meaning to say. Got explosions. Okay, okay. Vitamins. Gun? Gun. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to go see if anyone from this side was already heading over to the dorms. Obviously, we had the best spawn, so we'll see. At least for the other side. I should complete that sentence. We had the best spawn from the other side. Let's leave. 
Door's not open, by the way. Alright, since someone's actually there, I'm not gonna waste any more ammo. There's no point. I mean, the door's not gonna be open for a while. I could wait for the guy that's over in the three story and maybe hope there's a chance he has it, but I kind of hope when I was doing this, somebody that was over by the wall here would immediately be going over there checking that. So I digress. We're gonna keep moving. Now, if I had 300,000 to spend right now, I would have no problem to actually buy it, but... I couldn't move anyway. I was so screwed. What the heck was he shooting me with? Flechette. And of course it was Flechette. Oh, I'm getting so sick of dying in customs and I laid down there because broken leg and all that fun stuff. I'm going to just go over to Scav Run and see what we can make happen. Okay, we're going to attempt this again to build this thing. Because I'm I'm almost certain I have everything that I need. Oh, actually no. Let me take that off. So I'm going to put all this stuff back on and test this out. Skier, however, I need to buy this guy from you. If I go to mechanic, why is that not working? That should be everything I need, unless it's oh, I, oh, yeah, that's right. I bought the wrong one. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Let's get this moved over. Now we should be good. Turn that in. Boom. And we got two, three, and we also got farming part one. What should we need to get some tool sets for? Alright, that's something to kind of focus on. Actually, how much actually they're probably gonna cost me a lot. I'm not even gonna answer that question because it's probably an answer I don't want to have. Uh <laughs> we are actually down on a lot of items. That's alright. I was expecting this to kind of happen at some point where we're gonna have like a an unfortunate uh series of events of dying. So, that being said, let's go quickly sell this over to Peacekeeper. We can take the AK. I only have 84,000 over for this. This is fine. I'm going to go back over to... I'm trying to think what I was going to do. Oh, that's right. I was going to go back over to the last location, which was Reserve. And I want to do bunker part two. So I'm going to. Do we upgrade the rig actually? Actually, you know what? Get all this stuff out. If I can collect more items, that'd be better. Uh, however, I need to get medical supplies. Oh, we're on the edge of not having enough money for a lot of things. It's fine. It's fine. Think of the positivity, think about what's going to happen, how far we're going to come. It's not a big deal. This is part of Tarkov. You die, you live, you repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, basically. All right, I'm going to work with this. I know this thing's completely damaged, but we don't exactly have a lot to work with, and we're going to make it work. I'll bring the extra ammo. All right, this is going to have to work. We're going to head over, we're going to do all the bunker parts. Actually, I... Totally forgot that I get her get the stuff. Interesting. 
Anyway, I'm not even going to question it. We just got some stuff. Uh, instead of reserve, let's go do bunker part two and go from there. It's the second time we've gotten the spawn. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Let's get downstairs. Let's get the bunker areas all searched up. And maybe we get a little bit of loot along the way. And then at this... I'm just probably just gonna be a scavenger just to get some items collected for either the hideout or just to make some money. We are not not exactly in the best shape for when it comes to the money, but we'll make it happen. We always do, and we always will. We'll come back from these these down times. No, thank you, fuel. I don't need. Well, I no. Again, I couldn't even take it even if I wanted to. I was like, I can maybe I make something happen with that. No, no, we're not going to make anything happen with that. Okay, give me some good stuff, okay? I need all the goodies you can give me. A flash drive would be great. Come on, search that. I'll take the skull instead. It's more money. I think the... King building? It's either the king or the queen building. I forget what they decided they called that building. That's probably the, going to be the most difficult one to actually, like, look over. So, I'm going to look at the other things. I can't even see it. Just because it's going to be a little bit in the middle of, like, danger zone. So, got to be careful about that. Real quick. Nothing there. I look forward to getting um, to level two on Ragman though, because the armor just situation is just horrible. I think the, the biggest reason why I'm dying a lot is for armor. Just I mean, granted, I don't see some of my targets, but there are when I do actually see them and I'm fighting them, I'm just dying due to like lack of really good armor. Like I'm fighting people with some really good stuff, and I'm using a packer right now, and it's kind of getting me killed. Okay, first one's gonna be over here. And then I think I'm gonna go for the king building. Alright, that one's done. And then we're gonna go for the medical room now. And I've been kind of cautious and hesitant on how slow I do this because I don't want to go too, too slow. Because I have to actually survive this. If I die, I have to come back and do all these again. <clears throat> and I prefer not to do that. Oh, I can't tell if that's upstairs or not. So I got that one there. Gonna get it crossed here. I think that's upstairs. That made me kind of jump there a little bit. I may actually turn that task in. Since I'm not doing like full mode working on the hideout right now. 
wouldn't be the worst one to actually work on or to get, get a little bit of XP from. Can't take it. I'll take whatever gets me money. How about that? One more, which is over here, and then we are good. Grenades, please. They must have spawned or something, or they were sitting farther back, because I didn't see them when I first came over here. Gotta get to the manhole now. I don't think this had me. Need a little bit of XP to get out. I'm gonna take it and get out of here. Well, it wasn't the craziest amount of stuff, but I did actually get the uh, get, I got two of the sixty runners I need for a task coming up too. So, I mean, it's a win to say the least. I mean, that was a very satisfying ending. Um, yeah, very happy with that. Didn't have to use any medical. I got new armor out of it, I got a new gun, and I also got three... Actually, I think that's all the bags, mags that I need. What's inside these anyway? PS rounds. That's fine. But yeah, we need these mags anyway, because we need it for the task coming up for prep or so. Uh, that's a win. That's a win in my book right there. There were some downsides, obviously, today. A lot of death. Not something I was, I was proud of, but it just kind of happens, unfortunately, with this game, so... We take it with a grain of salt of worrying about it and just go, hey, we've got more coming in the future. Uh, beyond that, oh, we have to go turn the task. Ha! Ah, let's do that before we actually end this episode. Boom. And then, which one's this one? And the eliminate raiders. Okay, so I gotta eliminate five of them. That's not too bad. 
we can definitely make that happen as well. So we got some stuff coming up that's going to bring us back to reserve once again. I got to get this bad rep finished up at some point and a lot of tasks to come up with. There's a lot of stuff to get done. However, we did hit the we did hit the flea market, which is good. Finally unlocked that. I'm very happy about that. That's the first time finding BS, huh? I don't know how I feel about that, but um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up soon. We have to get a lot more progress done, but it's all right. I'm very excited about the progress that we were actually able to make, even through the difficult times of the early early wipe for us. And uh, we're gonna make it happen. I'm not even gonna look at the overall because the overall is probably gonna be very sad right now. <laughs> It doesn't matter though, because everything is going to be just fine and we're going to make a comeback. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.